हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ गूगल मैप्स ए इन डॉट नेट सो इन दिस पार्ट वन आई शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट गूगल मैप्स ए की फॉर फ्री फॉर डेवलपमेंट पर्पस सो गाइस गूगल मैप इज ए वेब मैपिंग प्लेटफॉर्म इट इज डेवलप डेवलप्ड बाय गूगल सो वाट वी डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो सो देर इज फ्यू पॉइंट्स आई हैव मैंशन इन दिस इन दिस वीडियो that is how to create google map api uh, and how to restrict the google map api so guys first of all you need to visit this site called https console.cloud.google.com and it redirect to a slash getting hyphen started so you should have your gmail or google account so i already have a login to my uh, gmail account here so while you uh, go to the site it will open with your this one pop up with the welcome to my uh, google account and it will show the country name so whatever the country name you need to select here so after then terms and services so you need to select and agree and continue so once you agree and continue you are, you can get the interface like this okay so you, you can see many options like cloud overview products and solutions api or and services so most of the work of google map api configuration you need to use this module that is apis and services okay before that i we need to create a project so under that project we will uh, configure or manage our api services so how to create the project so you just select this uh, drop down right after then you can see the uh, select project drop down right so after then you can see there is a new project is there uh, so this account has one more project existing project but i'll show you uh, to create a new project so there is one project we need to create uh, in a new so we click on the new project so this you can see the new project name i need to mention here so here i need to you can customize your name okay so my first project i need to select here as first project and the location is no organization if you have an organization you can select a um, browse or you can check your parent organization or folder all right so after then i'll click here as uh, create so guys once you click on create button you can see some process is going on by loading so it will create the first project so my first project is created successfully so you can see so i need to select the project here so once you select your project what you created it will show your project in the drop down and you will get some your project information like project number project name project number project id okay and some request per second you can track your project data here and some resources like whatever resources will be available under this project so bigquery sql compute engine storage cloud function and app engine all right you can see the many the interface like this after creating your project so after the creating the project what the next is i we need to select here you can see your left hand side there is one api and services all right so there is one option called library so i need to select the library here So guys here you can see some uh, api libraries so i click on view all so i can see all the libraries under this project so whatever the api and services so you can see so many api apis are there street view publish api geolocation api places api maps sdk for android roads api map titles tile map tiles api address validation places routes maps javascript api maps embedded api 
and time zone API, distance matrix API, aerial view, map SDK for iOS, map elevation API. Okay, there is many APIs you will get. As per requirement, you will just right click on it and uh, so I'll show you. So as per my this uh, Google Maps API tutorial, I need this API for JavaScript. So this is the API service I want that is Maps JavaScript API. So I just right click on it, open in a new tab. So you can see this API will be shown here. So guys here you can see uh, Maps JavaScript API under this project. I need to enable this API. Uh, so without enable we cannot use the Google Map API in our .NET application. Okay, so we need to enable our Maps JavaScript API after then it will allow us to use the JavaScript use, uh, use the Google Maps API in our application. So click on enable So you can see here the process is going on to configure to enable our service that is the Google Maps API for JavaScript. So guys I'll show you I'll tell you one thing that uh, Google has adding the billing purpose to uh, create to use the API in the uh, in your project that will that all the features will be available for billing uh, users but for development purpose this not this is the you know the billing is re uh, billing uh, setting is not required so I'll show you if you want to get the all features from Google API so you need to use the billing so if you want the billing uh, you want to use the all the features of Google Map API you can see after click the enable button the billing uh, link is redirect to here so if you click here uh, the terms of services and click continue okay and it will uh, go to the next so it is showing some uh, enjoy up to 40 percent of google maps platform there is some special uh, promotions here so you can see that if you select a discount and there is one standard so if you want the standard also you can click and click continue once you click continue if, if you have small level or medium, medium or large enterprise business then you need to select the business here or account type you can select individual for your development or your any type of uh, small level uh, organizations so the task information is showing okay you need to select the name you need to add the address address line to city postal code and state okay and uh, you need to showing monthly automatic payment and this payment method that is the card number you need to mention here it is a mandatory for billing users so you need to me mention your valid card number okay otherwise it will not take your uh, any card numbers it will validate your card number first okay after then you need to select continue once you select continue you'll you'll be a successful billing user but as per my project requirement i do i no need to be a billing user i just use my uh, google map api for the development purpose i don't need to i don't require any of all the features of google map api so i just want to use the google map api for dot in dot net for development purpose so i need i don't need to want to continue all the uh, inputs and the, for the billing users so as per your requirement you can use as a billing user or a non-billing user so i close this again i uh, right click on this maps javascript api and open in a new tab let's see uh, that api service is enabled or not so guys you can see here the maps Google javascript api is this api is enabled so uh, you can see one green tick mark is there and it shows api enabled that means 
this maps javascript api is enabled successfully and i can create the google map api and i can use this api key in in my application okay so next step is i go to here navigation menu and api and services and there is one more the uh, option is credentials so click on credentials here so guys you remember one thing one once we enable our api so this api uh, enabled under this project and if you go to my go to create the credentials this is also we need to do under the project so under this project we need to configure everything to use the google map api key in in my application okay so you can see as of now there is no api keys is found okay so there is one option called create credentials so if you click on create credentials there is many options api key or client id service account and help me choose so i i need to select here api key so it is creating the api key for us so you can see this is the api key is creating for us okay and uh, this key is by default is unrestricted to prevent un unauthorized use we recommend restrict the where and for which api can be used okay so by default it is unauthorized anyone can use this api, API key so uh, you can see once i create the api key it's, it's it is the uh, it, it can be available under api keys uh, section so if you select this api keys okay now you can see this api key name okay i need to select here as a map api key dot net okay and this is the api key i need to use in our project and you can see key restriction this key is unrest unrestricted okay so set an application restriction so by, by default it shows none that's why it is unrestricted if you want you want to use the application in specific websites uh, like uh, for example you have one site called https uh, slash any www dot uh, graphics dot com okay and click done so it's so it count counted as your uh, restricted it, it means it is some specific conditions that I have applied to your API key it is not now it is not the unrest unrestricted it is restricted right except non all the options are makes your google map api key restricted so if you select ip address you need to select the ip address like some 172.98.31.2 uh, you can like this you select and click done okay and if you, if you have android apps you just put your information here by clicking add and same for ios apps okay so like this we need to restrict our api and okay now uh, api restrictions specify the enable api for this uh, key and call so if you uh, save the changes you save the changes and uh, these things will be reflected here so you can see uh, it is the unrestricted so i need to make it a restricted so how to do it if you click on show key it will show the key api key and if you want to edit or delete you can manage it so i want to edit the key so you can see this is the unrestricted key that's why some warning icons is showing right beside my key information so i need to make it as a restricted so edit api key so uh, what i i need to do is i need to specify my application use in specific sites so that is is https uh, slash loan uh, www dot satyaprakash dot com okay and and click done okay now select this if you want to delete select this so after then i need to restrict key here select apis so this is not required 
this key can call any uh, this key can call any api so i i, I have uh, used some restricted uh, api apis for my websites okay so this api key is restricted for specific websites that is web website name i have mentioned here uh, so if you click save so you can see uh, instead of that warning you can see one green uh, right mark right you can it is showing api key is restricted okay that is no uh, others cannot use that api key in their project or application except you have mentioned the website name okay like this we, we can make our create our you know uh, google map api key for free for development purpose so and as for the next point is how to restrict the google map api so guys i already have shown you how to restrict it uh, there is you can uh, if you want to restrict uh, that is the if you go to it edit api key okay and uh, set an application restriction so website restriction right so also if you want to restrict using the ip address you can select here ip address and you can put your ip address here so in this way we can restrict our you can set an application restriction so that limit an api keys usage to specific websites ip address android applications or ios applications so you can set one application restriction for key okay so in this way we can restrict the uh, google map api key for the security purpose so after then you need to save the changes and once you save the changes you can see your uh, so i had made it uh, i have made the this key as a unrestricted that's why warning icon is coming so we need to select here as restrict so under i need to uh, so application restriction limit and api key usage to specific IP, ip address so i have selected the ip address here so ip address restriction you have seen here so some instructions like uh, specify one or more address uh, ip address or callers are the allowed to use your api key and this would be the format so examples this uh, this is the format you can see ip v4 or ip v6 address or a subnet using cidr notation so click on ip address you need to select your ip address okay in this way and click done and that means your uh, you have restrict your application for web uh, that is google map api key and click on save so in this way we can restrict our api keys and after restrict the warning uh, icon is gone and you can see one green symbol that is api key is restricted okay so guys in this way we can create the google map api and how to restrict the map api key okay so that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day